I'm working on bison, American bison. And how would you describe your style of art? Ooh. People ask you, what kind of style of artwork do you do? Impressionistic realism. I'm doing wildlife. I'm using palette knife and brush. And um, the, the, the reason I do that is I like to get loose edges without having to render, but just drawing with a palette knife and drawing with the side of a brush. Instead of painting with the tip of a brush, I use the side of the brush, and that way I can create different textures and broken lines and loose edges with a brush and with a palette knife. I'm, I'm mainly, you know, I do a rough drawing first, um, uh, small, and then I enlarge it on the board, and I draw with a Faber-Castell drawing pencil in order to create the line work. A lot of this is my line work down here, where I'm using a pencil, and then I slowly, and I'm, I'm basically kind of creating my light source in my head, and I start. You know, I may establish shadow area, and then I'll spend most of my time in the highlighted area, you know, doing detail with palette knife and building up layers. Building up layers and layers of color, like washes of color here, is how I kind of start to lay in color inside my pencil line. And then I'll gradually build up layers and layers in order to get this level of detail. Cool and light, uh, cool and warm. Um, I use, if I have cool shadows, then I'll use a lot of warm colors in my highlights. And sometimes I will reverse that and have warm shadows and then cool highlights. <clears throat> and that is always kind of tricky, but I'm kind of making it up as I go. I don't like, I'm not doing naturalistic coloring um, uh, because I'm, I'm feeling my way through paintings and I want it to just kind of feel spontaneous and fresh and bright. Um, I could use a lot of gray tones but and values but I choose not to. Um, I like like a lot of bright color so I have a lot of layers a really bright color that optically when you stand back from it colors kind of blend and there's a vibrancy to it and there's a, a light uh, um, uh, the couple that just came by said, you know, your, your colors are just kind of exciting. And I'm like, well, that's a good thing. That's what I'm going for. But, <clears throat> but that's what, you know, why you, you see the blues here and how bright they are. Mm -hmm. You know, that, you, you're not going to see that when you look at a bison out in the field. But it feels good. It feels, it feels comfortable to me to do it this way. Why do you choose certain animals over others? Well, well, right now it's it's I'm in a Rocky Mountain range, and I'm doing Rocky Mountain wildlife, but I do the whole range of wildlife, and um, I I've studied animals, well, I guess since I was five years old, and so I have a knowledge of their anatomy, and so I can sit and just imagine. You know, like I started doing this jackrabbit. I've not done a jackrabbit before, but it's a quadruped. You know, it's got four legs. And the anatomy of, of quadrupeds is very similar. But, you know, I've seen enough of the <clears throat> jackrabbit in real life to know that it's different than a bison. But details, I always keep a library. Um, but I have a lot of information in my head from drawing these animals over the years. So... It's not like I have to spend a lot of time studying. Um, I can just I can start creating just from memory, and then I'll use reference material for details, like you know the the feet, you know the shape of the eye, shape of the the muzzle, you know. So that's how I go about doing the work. Hey. Hello, dear. How are you? I didn't see you stand there. I just saw your lovely wife. <laughs> That's, hey. 
<laughs> That's a good thing. I figured I commanded attention. So, <laughs> so what kind of medium do you paint in? Acrylics. I use acrylics. Um, uh, Ninety percent of my work is acrylics. I use some oils, but mainly acrylics because acrylics are easy, flexible. Um, I can. I've used <coughs> acrylics since I was in college, so that's you know a good forty years of using it. So I know how to manipulate acrylics more so than, and and it gives me. It dries fast, and it's easy to work with. Uh, the water-based medium is easier for me to work with, so I spend a lot of time you know, experimenting. So.